you can eat your muffin don't and just don't put your microphone <laughs> to your mouth yet, and then we're fine. But these take so long to chew. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Anyway, hey, hey, hey. Welcome to your weekly Corner Spatey. It is myself, Nick, joined with... Uma. Hello. And our, you know, little special man who is still chewing on his muffin, Kieran. Hey. Ah, perfect timing. (laughs) I did it. I am so proud. (laughs) And boy, uh, has Europe been on one, I guess. Uh, We just, we're just going to, we're just going to, you know. We're we're jumping in. We're we're, jumping in. You know, firing from the hip. Entering fire drunk. Um, (laughs) Because, all right, first thing, first things first, a little round of applause. Everyone, where you're, where you're listening to this, um, if you're on the bus, if you're driving, stand up. Don't drive and, and listen to Cornish Betty. <laughs> okay, safety first, pull over, <laughs> stop what you're doing, stand up and clap for five years of Cornish Betty. Um, woo! woo! We did it. They said that, that we couldn't do it. I don't think anyone said that. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody cared enough. <laughs> no one cared. No one cared enough to be a hate. Well, that's not true. We had haters. Uh, I just don't think they were just like really yeah, from yeah, the of start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, like ev- everyone who runs for Volt. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Whatever. Um, other weird. Ulrika Franca found out recently. She like unblocked me on Twitter. She like. Why? Lanza. Well, she blocked me originally because, like, I think it was me, you, she and like. Have, you're not. She didn't. She doesn't even know that we exist as a podcast. No, probably not. But no, that's not a hater. That's just a person that you have a Twitter beef with who went on like a. Mass Those are block. haters. It's not. They exist in the canon. Uh, I just want to say thank you, everyone, for yeah. the last for the last five years. It's Except for you, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I. You know. I. We. We have no beefs. We, okay. Sure. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, we're, we're because perfect. you're not on Twitter anymore. No, I'm not. Yeah, Nick's no, on Twitter. Not. He, doesn't, he doesn't remember how angry the world is. I mean, I do. I know oh how. God. I know how realistically angry the world is, not how make believe angry the world is. Yeah, no, that's real. Everything that happens on Twitter is real life. <laughs> yeah, especially the people Damn, who apparently pay eight dollars. Like, yeah, the most popular party in the United States is PSL. What? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> um, oh man, fun thing I found out recently is that like the average payout people who uh, are on Twitter Blue get from Twitter is about like somewhere between thirty five to eighty five dollars a month. What? That's yeah. nothing. No, you, sure, but you know what it is more than how much they pay for Twitter Blue. Like the company is just mm. hemorrhaging money. They're I was gonna like, say like Twitter Blue like 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 it's eight, it's year, like eight, eight bucks a month. month. Yeah. yeah. So um, you know what I hate? Oh yeah, go they're on. allowed to hide their blue tick. Yeah, and you think you're talking to a normal person, <laughs> <laughs> and you're not. Yeah, I was very upset the other day. I will tell you after who it was. Oh, okay, yeah. But I messaged someone on Twitter, and when you message them, mm. even if they hide the blue tick, yeah, when you're like looking. For their username on like the message thing, it still shows. It up. shows that they have a blue tick. Oh, because you have the tabs is like verified and stuff as well, separated like in your notifications. I do, but I never checked it. No, like, I never well, check it either. But I like, I have clicked it by accident once, and it does reveal like a bunch of people who've liked my tweets, being like, "Oh, they are verified, but they're not. Like, they have the blue tick, but they." Don't right, it's like up. it's it's so disappointing. It's it like is. at least own it. No, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Sorry if anybody who's listening has a blue take. I just think it's uh, the other one is when they money. they go over the um, the character limit. Yeah, and you have to like see, see this, more about this person is sneaky. They oh. never show like they based on their tweets. You would never guess that they have a blue tick. Mm. And then, and then I went to DM them and I was like. You motherfucker! Yeah, <laughs> you, you pay Elon Musk eight euros. Twitter, Twitter does know what it's doing though, because I routinely get ads for um. Oh my god, yeah. Tweet tech, because oh. they're like, we know you use the fucking shit out of that. Oh, you can only get tweet yeah. tech if you pay the eight euros. Yeah, yeah. it's really annoying. Oh. It's, it's premium only now, so like, uh, I, I haven't used it since they did that's, that. That's uh, I don't know. In my opinion, that's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the humiliation. I get why a lot of people like pay for Twitter Blue. It yeah. like that. That's what it's called, right? Or oh no, X? no, because it's X Pro now. X or Pro. Yeah. That's fucking stupid. Because it's not Twitter anymore. Oh yeah, true. <gasps> My I dad called it that. X yesterday. Like unironically. 
yeah, yeah, like Weird. don't share it on Instagram or X. And I was like, who are you? Who are you? You've never used Twitter in your whole I life, and now you're saying X. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do not have a father. Maybe, actually, maybe he just thinks it's a new social media. I guess, <laughs> poor man. No, I think he just thinks that's how it's correctly said now. That, so I'm or just like, gonna say that. You say that he's never used Twitter before, and it's like, yes, that is who would call it X. Yeah, someone exactly. who's never engaged with it before. Yeah, true. Yeah, I think like, but I don't know. I've heard even people start to transition to. Yeah, it's 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 still not sticking because mm. like every like every publication still has like when they have to mention the website, it's Twitter, like, and then form, X, yeah. or, like X brackets formally Twitter. Yeah, and then like at the same time, um, <laughs> Twitter dot com is still more often than not what the actual url is hmm. even when you like click like share tweet copy link it'll, it'll be, be like, like x.twitter.com or whatever it'll be something like that or it will still just be twitter.com and then it will redirect oh yeah. okay yeah um it's stupid the man is stupid anyway yeah okay enough about about enough this about that X. and now we're going to talk about a drug probably one of the few drugs elon musk is not on um ozempic um <laughs> That Wall okay. There was a Wall Street Journal article that talked about like all the drugs Elon is on. It's very funny. He's like he's doing all of them. Name a drug. He's on all of them at the same time. It seems real bad. He's going to die. That rocks. Uh, I don't know. But, I but, appreciate a trap god. In, in what sense? Like and like what it's drugs? Um, if I remember correctly, like like medicine or no, no, no. Drugs? Like the 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 cool ones. Mm. Um, well, coke. He's for sure always doing coke. No. Yeah, I think that was in there. I think speed, ketamine. Um, <laughs> yeah, ket was there as well. It's, oh. like a, it's like a bunch of drugs that I'm just like, okay, if just, you're a person just... who does one of these, sure, fine. If you're doing all of them and multiple in one day, I'm very concerned. Yeah. Yeah. This um, cocktail of drugs. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> it's very fun. Anyway, it's all falling apart from Elon, but that's not what we're talking about at the moment. Uh, we are talking about Ozempic, which Nick doesn't didn't know about Ozempic. No, I did not. That is crazy. To the me. Ozempic face. Yeah. Now all the you know all the famous people have Ozempic face because it makes you lose weight so fast. Yeah. That then your face is just like falling off your fucking skull, basically. Just yeah. like everyone's just looks saggy and sad and just yeah, there's there, no life. There is a style, and it, this is like. I love I love the weird niches of like interests where you can get really good insight into particular things yeah. like how you can talk to like UFC guys about like Dagestani politics and like they <laughs> oh, will know yeah, like, so exactly. much about yeah. that. My 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 cousin like weirdly he's like oh yeah like you know about like how like so and so like this fighter and like blah 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 how they're like connected to ISIS and like Dagestan <laughs> yeah, and shit I'm like wait what? Like- yeah. The most like the most sophisticated in depth analysis in Western media of like the North Caucasus comes from like UFC guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, There's this um, Spanish uh, kid, basically. He's like twenty, twenty one. Sure. In the UFC now, but he's originally um, Romanian, I think, or Eastern European. Mm-hmm. And turns out, I mean. <sighs> Just, I don't want to be that person, but just by the look of him, you're like, yeah, makes sense. He is actually sponsoring uh, one of these like private companies that sends literal Nazis to get rid of squatters in houses. Oh, owned by the bank and stuff like like, squ- like harmless squatters, just like in Spain. In Spain, yeah. 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 And he's like a sponsor of one of these companies. <sighs> like, ah, fun. Lovely. Well, now, like, yeah. now Americans will know about. Yeah, because you, if, yeah, if your company is just like Blackwater but successful or whatever, or no, what was that one that got stopped by the Venezuelan fishermen? Oh, uh, I don't remember. Silver League or something. Some like, shit like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 they all have corny yeah. as fuck names. Yeah, but like when you when you run the successful version of that as a company, then yeah, it totally makes sense to get like a UFC guy to be like at least do the training videos. Yeah, of just yeah, like yeah, yeah. hi, I'm um, um, Ransom Tierhoff. <laughs> just like, yeah. I'd love to I don't know. I, I forgot videos. his name to be honest. I That's fair. Can't be bothered with him. Anyway, it was my, Olympic. My point is <laughs> that like, yeah. So it's weird. We can go to like a very specific niche interest and get like an insight into something very poignant. And this is where like people who pay attention to like celebrity gossip know 
everything about how a Zempic works. I and do. And, like, how to tell when someone's on a Zempic. And, like, yep. about, like, when people are taking too much and the, like, alternatives out there and when you should be prescribed and not prescribed. Like, there's, like, anyone who would have, like, I guess they're still around, like, glossy mags. Kind of like would have written for a glossy mag knows everything. But about also, like, you you have oh, sorry sorry. Go no go on, go on go on. No, you also have like celebrities that have been chubby their whole life, which obviously there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. And now they're skinny as hell. It's yeah. like okay, like that is obviously Ozempic. Like um, yeah. Kelly Osbourne is that her name? Yes, Kelly Osbourne. Who also fucking? I mean, she's the stupidest fucking woman, one of the stupidest women on earth. But also, uh, she. Oh, her uh, um, her very very unfortunate attempt to take down Donald Trump of like oh yeah yeah, yeah why are, why are you against Latinos who do you think cleans your toilet and everyone's no no like, who, who's gonna if you deport all Latinos who's gonna clean your toilet yeah Trump? yeah and I was like mm. and like the whole the other like uh, panel women they all just went like oh no uh, yeah they immediately <laughs> caught they it it wasn't went, like oh no and she's like no 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 what I mean is that but this <laughs> But no, she she did this because she's an Ozempic, very clearly yeah. on it. She's super skinny now. And she did this. They asked her about it. Mm. At least she's honest, like, because many of them are just saying, no, 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 I'm not. Yeah. Anyway, and she said, bear in mind, Ozempic is actually for um, diabetes. Di- diabetes. And mm. many diabetics, especially in the U.S., can get it. Can get it. Yeah. They're dying because, you know, all the these rich people are just buying the Ozempic. But it's a very, very new drug as well. Like, it's very new to the market, which is why there's, like, a, such a short supply of it. Exactly. Yeah. And Demand very much outpaced the supply. Exactly. And she, like, did this interview being like, oh, if, you know, people who can't get... um, Why why are you talking shit about people who are losing weight with Ozempic? You know, Ozempic is... is at least you don't have to work out. It's fun. Yeah. And then she said something like, just admit that you're poor and you can't get a Zempic. <laughs> like, literally, just straight up said like, something like Which that. Is, yeah, that is the sequel to the, the cleaning toilets comment. Um. Exactly. And it's just like, are you fucking... But, like, if I was the fucking interviewer... Yeah. Man, I would have been like, well, but it's actually for people with diabetes. What would you say to, to that? Or something like, like yeah. that, that fucking interviewer is just like, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. But like, at the same time, like I would, I would not be surprised if like in the LA circles where this is being prescribed, like they have absolutely, like no one is telling them it's for diabetes originally. Like it, it, it like in that circle, it's definitely being presented as a weight loss drug. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like, so it's huge. Everyone's doing it. That weird, like, comedian from Berlin who, like... Oh, my God. Oh, shut the fuck up. Who's, like... Um, is this the main one or the bonus? Can I send death threats? This is the main or? one. Oh, shit, okay. We'll talk... Okay. Subscribe to the bonus. <laughs> <laughs> and Karen will talk about that. Um, all right, so... Ozempic is pretty new, new to market... And it's been a huge, huge deal. And it has made the company that it produces it fucking a shit ton of money. Nova Nordisk, which was always the like largest company by valuation in Denmark, mm-hmm. is now the largest company by valuation in all of Europe. Oh, geez. Middle of last year, it surpassed, because of this, it surpassed LVMH. Fuck. Um... And it is approaching, people are suspecting that it's looking to reach the um, $1 trillion valuation. Oh my God. Which would, it would be the first pharmaceutical company to do that. Um, all the others that have done that have been tech, like Microsoft and Apple, I think, have reached $1 trillion valuations. Um, and also, from like the data from the end of last year, so a shit ton of countries are entering into technical recessions. Like uh, um, Germany is in a recession right now. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> woo! Uh, but like if you're laughing at home like half of Europe is also in a recession at the moment so like chances are you're in a recession too um, Denmark has single-handedly avoided being in a recession purely due to Ozempic and the profits made by this one company that's um, crazy. Which I, I can't imagine, as big believers in trickle-down economics, <laughs> everyone in Denmark is now fine. <laughs> it's very rich, and, and definitely not feeling the pinch or the squeeze of, like, rise of cost of living and shit. Um, yeah, so just thought I'd bring that up. It's just know. crazy, though, how all these celebrities are taking Ozempic. And I assume they're not taking, like, small 
doses. They're at least daily injecting themselves. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I have absolutely no idea about what the routine looks like for what it's meant to look like and if it does differ. Yeah. Um, if my understanding is correct, this is like specifically for like type 2 diabetes as well. Like like diabetes that you get later in life, not diabetes that you were like basically born with. Yeah, yeah. It's um, like for severe, like it's it's... It's a it's pretty fucked up that all these people are getting access to Ozempic when people and that's the thing older people who can literally lose limbs or like you know diabetes is yeah. no fucking joke um, are cannot um, access this as well and I just like because it's not made for a healthy body like you know it's made for a person who has diabetes it's made for a specific so disease, yeah. what is what is it doing to your body as well? That, like they that, know they have no idea of yeah. the long term effects. Like they oh they don't yeah that's the, that's because at the moment, like listen to the, the the Financial Times talk about this and they were like, at the moment it basically seems like a miracle drug because there are very little consequences. Yeah. Um. All it does is it suppresses your it suppresses your diet. Yeah. It basically makes you eat less when you eat a lot. And that's very handy for weight loss. Very handy if you're managing diet in some way. Um, but it's not invasive. It's not like a bypass. It's not like a bunch of other stuff that you could have done that would have provided a similar effect. Um, or like clamping stomachs and stuff like that was also something that was done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's a hugely forward in this like space. Um, but it's so new that the FT, like when talking about it, we're like, it does seem really great. However, we knowledge we are in the kind of like big pharma kind of like uh, um, feel good haze yeah. about this drug at the moment. There could be some sort of long term effect. There could be what they what they were more like suspecting was um, a long term effect caused by abuse of it rather than like yeah, exactly. it will be good when monitored and prescribed correctly and you need it for even for weight loss they were just like but people will overdo it because people want to be skinny and f- and fast yeah yeah um yeah, yeah there's no way that they won't get like ulcers or shit like that because also it, it literally just makes you not hungry but like the acid in your stomach is still the, i don't know i don't yeah. know i obviously have no idea what i'm talking about but it will be interesting to see um all these famous people. Yeah. <laughs> what we're saying is... How they look like. You know, every person in Denmark, blood on your hands. Because we exactly. all know you're personally... If you're Danish, shame on you. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, if you, if you have... Depending on whose blood you have in your hands, <laughs> it's fine, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your service. Anyway, moving on to uh, uh, our friends in Germany. Um... <laughs> Nick, you might have more to say about this because I, I consider you the uh, um, the German expert. Well, the particularly the Hans Georg Maaßen for Steyr. Oh, um, <laughs> what? The, that that's a title I never wanted. <laughs> um, I was expecting something way cooler. I'm sorry. The HGMV. <laughs> How's that sound? Horrible. I hate it. Uh, you're not gonna. You're not gonna like make it. I, I can't you're not gonna it. make it. You're not gonna make it sexy. I'm no. gonna make homework cool. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so he started in his own party. Yeah. I thought we've talked about this already, but no. I guess not. No, we haven't. Yeah. I oh, think okay. the reason was it was basically announced like just after we'd finished recording the last episodes. Oh, it was also, yeah. Also in the sense that I think we just, we just talked about that he was hinting to it, but it's officially like, yeah, it's a, it's a thing now. He's basically making, he's arguing that it's, a pos- it's in between CDU and AFD. Yeah, it's like Werte Union. Yeah, ve- yeah, basically Werte Union becoming its own party or failing that, basically a version of the CDU that will work with the AFD. That's kind of yeah, yeah, what yeah, it yeah. is. Oh, I remember where we talked about this. We yeah. talked about that on that other show. Did we? Yeah, we did. Pra- oh, maybe. Pod- yeah, yeah, yeah. Podcasting is practice. Oh, yeah, we, we brought it up there. Yeah, we did. We talked about it. That's where it is. We didn't talk yeah. about it on this show yet. Yeah. Um, and like... Hans Gerhard Massen, who I only personally know as the when we uploaded all our episodes to YouTube, um, we got a lot of Massen defenders underneath that one episode of you and Yulia talking about him before the election. 
Um, oh, whatever. I don't pay attention to any of this. No, shit. no, I know. I'm just saying that's all I know about him is that the, he funny. has he has shooters apparently. No, no, he absolutely <laughs> does. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no. Because the thing about Hans Georg Maasen, yeah, is that there's like a lot of people within the like the like right wing young influencer thing who think he's like sick. Yeah, and there's like he does like a lot of interviews with like German like right wing YouTubers and shit. He does have his like followers, and he is taken very seriously as a person within the German right. He isn't like, I mean, the thing is, is that then the general, the general distaste of him that then comes obviously from the left is, is, you know, very much. Yeah, no, no. But it's very (laughs) much sometimes in it's in this like microcosm Mm. of like only leftists really like get pissed about this where the rest of Germany is like, well, you know, he's like bad, but, you know, he, he, he's whatever he's like a a, a, a a governmental figure who's been like well respected for a very long time mm. you know like his like connection to a bunch of right-wing shit um only intensifies i think then like the the um legitimacy of, of himself amongst like further right-wing circles in germany and those circles are quite large and they're also very well financed mm. so. well, and what was his he was like was he head of the Verfassungsschutz? Yeah, he was. He was Merkel's head of the Verfassungsschutz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and this was... And then later, Verfassungsschutz, after he'd left, basically said, you're now under investigation for... Yeah, for ties to to whatever. For not believing <laughs> that <laughs> neo-Nazis <laughs> were being Nazis. Basically. Yeah. Um, I guess for just being a right-wing extremist or some shit like that. I don't know. It's, it's, there's really like, the Verfassungsschutz can really investigate you for anything. Yeah. This is the thing too, is that then it's like, um, I get that there's like a lot of um, like hurrah, hurrah mm. with the, oh, ho, ho, isn't this funny? Isn't this ironic? But I think that it's, um, the thing that's very odd about the Verfassungsschutz as well, um, with the way that it's structured, is that it can also be used as a tool by the government that then is currently in power. Hmm. And right. it's a um, quite, I mean, you know, if we're going to talk about it in the terms of authoritarianism, which I think is a stupid word, but we'll just use it for easy descriptions here. Yeah. Um, it is very much, I mean, it's a very anti democratic arm of the German state, which mm. doesn't really, I mean, like, uh, um, there's a book, uh, uh, Roland Steinke, I think we've talked about him a couple of times, mm. uh, his book, Verfassungsschutz, he makes kind of the comparison to, like, COINTELPRO, that okay. he says that the German state has a mechanism similar to the FBI's COINTELPRO, however, um, instead of it being that then it's just directed by a paranoid uh, um, uh, uh, J. Edgar Hoover. Sure. It's or a very you know not paranoid but a very hyper anti communist J Edgar Hoover yeah uh, and racist. Um, it's directed by then just the German like it can be directed by Olaf Scholz yeah, yeah and it can then also be directed by the sense of the thing where its political original leanings are which is mm. quite right wing and has connections to a lot of right wing groups yeah um, a lot of the people who do security detail for the Verfassungsschutz and stuff like that in I believe one of their things in Leipzig yeah. is hired um, with knowledge that they are tied to a lot of right wing. Uh, uh, extreme right wing uh, uh, groups in Germany, so this is why I think one, it's like uh, the investigation won't go far. Um, mm-hmm. It's kind of the thing that then it's like when people make the. Argu- I mean, we can have a whole episode about the AfD fabut. Um, when they make the argumentation of that, of that, then oh, we could just the Verfassungsschutz could then investigate the AfD. They've already broken up pieces of the AfD. Yeah. Um, with like Björn Höcke's uh, uh, Die Flügel, like the the wing. Yes. So they've they've already done that, but yet these people are every, still around. You every know, chapter so. of Young Alternative and, is like on a watch list and yeah shit. and there is like a lot of connections between then a lot of tactics that then like Mossad uses and that Israel like imports to Germany and stuff like that which if you want to talk about like insane uh, a breach of you know any level of personal freedoms mm. to you know in the name of counter you know terrorism and whatnot or ex- you know counter extremism Israel is like the perfect example for the most like dystopian thing you can imagine and the fact that Germany also then has these apparatuses that work with them and that the Verfassungsschutz is very invasive I think we have to also kind of like look at critically as leftists and not necessarily so much you know cheer on because yeah. this is st- like this is like this is flexing but it's going to go nowhere yeah but it, it, it's your classic like uh, um I, I love when it's done uh, like not, when it's not done to me kind of shit because like oh absolutely like there is like a there is like a bit of like hilarious irony to it but it's yeah. like don't fucking hold your breath like let's like like yeah. let's be realistic here and also like this Fassel Schultz is going to spend much more time you know 
uh, attacking climate activists and you know left wing groups than they are going to like deal with. I mean, oh, yeah. Hans Georg Maaßen's thing is gonna he's gonna be observed for probably like six months or some shit, and then they're gonna be like, oh well, you know. Yeah, or it's it's gonna be like a lot of like well. BBC seems to suggest the new party is just going to be called Werte Union. Uh, Probably, yeah. yeah. Um, and the thing that Maston can do is that then if he positions himself as just being like this this kind of in between thing, the the you know the, the 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 argument that then that he is being like a true Democrat is quite easy to do because it's how the Greens justify the sense of like oh well the AFD can still like hang out with us at the Berlinale, mm. you know that mm. argumentation if it works there. You know, why, like, the next step of cooperation is, like, while there's, like, these literal protests going in the street and they're being, like, supported, you know... Uh, uh, by the Greens. By the, no, but, like, by the government of Germany, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. the Olaf Scholz is on board, this and that and that, and then at the same time, you know, they're doing the complete opposite. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's also just the, like... <clears throat> We have to observe how this all operated underneath the CDU because, like, that yeah. is the default party of Germany. They will be back. Um... Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I so, mean, the Greens and the CDU are also like getting pretty, you know, there's frozen. possible talk, like yeah. possible talks of a uh, coalition. Then the... Uh, um, on a, a national level. An example, actually, of also all of this, just like tools, tools supposedly being neutral in like a government, and but actually just being used for like the whims of the party is a lot of the stuff that's happening in Poland at the moment. Yeah. Where like a lot of these agencies were doing the bidding of like PIS and now that like civic platform is back in charge, they're just like, Oh, sorry, my bad. Let's start investigating all those obvious crimes the PIS were doing. Yeah. Um instead of like telling the public broadcaster that you um, you know, gay people lay eggs and inside them there are demons or whatever the fuck they were doing on Polish TV. Um I I'm not <laughs> like um all right. Speaking of Eastern Europe, though. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about you know, uh, um, you know, crushing your fun with the with with the Hans Georg Maaßen party. There was no fun in that. No, it's, no, no. <laughs> it's uh, is this something we have to acknowledge? Well, yeah, because it's just I mean, to, like, both just on one on one you know small note uh, before we you know transfer over to uh, other parts of Europe, is I just it is it is very like it is very hilarious to me how much like um, the general German public like pretends that they're going to care about this for like three seconds yeah you know? because then we all know in the sense that then that like yeah this this right wing turn is inevitable and you know the norms of like bid like axel springer politic is going to come like right back into germany you know and we're all going to be living in like this yeah i whatever. think whatever i think a lot of it is just like that huge squishy middle of people who are not paying attention to politics yeah true and then like hans garib massen just shows up in a suit and he's like well that's what i expect my politicians he's wearing a suit i'll vote for him sure <laughs> <laughs> or like you'll you'll like you'll do what all germans do which is you'll vote for the cdu and then they just work with the virtual and you're like well exactly yeah, yeah. yeah um so you might as well have just voted for him but, he, but even though you didn't anyway now hungry you know it. You love it. You've had paprika. Uh, it's <laughs> it's hungry. Um, okay, so this is this is something that has to be, I think, explained because I'm not sure how much uh, either of you have been paying attention to this. Um, Hungary has a president. Yeah, and she resigned. Yes. I don't know why. So <laughs> Let's get to... into why. Yeah, it was I something. Just... Bad, right? <laughs> okay. If Kieran's laughing, it could be bad or it could be no, really No, it's stupid. really bad. If he's laughing like that, it's so gleeful. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a Kieran. It's bad laugh. Yeah. yeah. All right. So it's it's a, it's a, it's like okay. Let's let's go into it. Hungary as a president, like a lot of European countries, it's like a ceremonial president. Yeah. Don't get it confused. Viktor Orban is still the person in charge like, as like prime minister. Like the Irish one. Like the Irish president. The, the uh, like every president. Germany. Yeah. Every president, except for when you have a king or you're France. Yeah. That's the only the place. United States. Uh, or yeah, the United States also has a presidential system, but like within Europe. Like, ceremonial presidents are quite common. If you don't have a ceremonial president, you probably have a king. See, sorry, that's why it confuses me when English-speaking people call Sanchez prime minister. Yeah. Because we call He's him president presidente. Yeah, president, president of the Congress. So I always something. say president, and they're like, why is it not a prime minister? I'm like, well, in Spanish, it's primer ministro, so yeah. no, he's not. The thing is, because we don't have uh, that uh, it, like, it's, difference, because we have a king. Yeah, 
but it's like he is functionally like in in so much as there is a distinction between a president and a prime minister he is a prime minister yeah that's that's why like we don't have that distinction no that's fair in spain um but, he's just president but yeah f- like function wise what he does it's like a he's a prime minister and then like the other issue is like no one has respected that in english like realistically the english speaking world should call like olaf schultz prime minister of germany I don't know why they've like decided to chancellor. use chancellor. Yeah. Yeah. It's the German word's chancellor, that's why. But he is functionally prime. Like that's what we're saying. But that's the, what the word then, in then Spanish is not prime minister. Uh, Sanchez, a, a president, not a prime minister, because in Spain he's called a, a president. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Okay. But he is a prime minister, as is Olaf Scholz. Like the Germans yeah. get their own little word. <laughs> we <I> mean, cannot <laughs> get. You know, be more important. <laughs> 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 well, sorry immediately <laughs> sorry like uh, germany controls the eu i think that they also get they, that they get we get the special dish. word <laughs> they get the special word yeah like you anyway, know what I grind don't this. grind harder for this ah, view all you. right this is this is nick and german government in 2008 just yeah, like exactly. talking to yeah, someone yeah. Yeah, feel like yeah, feel like I feel very Sudländer right now. Yeah, exactly. Feel like 2008 Gucci Man in the European <laughs> Parliament, baby. Let's go. There should have been someone in a northern economy who was just like about that crunk lifestyle yeah, exactly. or whatever. Yeah, 100%. just like yeah, chopped and screwed in the fucking Bundestag. That's right. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so they have a president mm-hmm. um, ceremony. Okay, unlike a lot of other presidents in the European Union, but similar um, to some others, they are. Presidents of Hungary are picked by the parliament. Okay. The parliament votes for them. Unlike Ireland, where it's directly elected, uh, Germany's president is also picked by the Bundestag, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so some countries directly elect them. Some countries are like the parliamentarians can do it. Um, which means that this president and like the last two presidents before her have all effectively been handpicked by Orban because Fidesz has had an outright majority since 2010. Mm-hmm. Uh, the numbers have changed, but they've always been a majority. Um, Victor Orban, the Gucci man of Europe. Pretty much. Yeah. All right, I've decided this. <laughs> um, so actually... He really is, I think, the o- the only country that then is like kind of entirely controlled just by his party in parliament now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like it is... That's why like so many on the right idolize him, even though most of that has been like achieved by like extreme gerrymandery fuckery yeah like. exactly or just like complete just like running fake candidates for other parties that don't exist yeah yeah <laughs> yeah sorry. okay yeah i was just reading the notes and i remembered yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway let's let's talk about i want to do a brief history of the uh, uh, the presidents that came before under orban because it is fun so presidents can only run for two terms two terms of five years mm-hmm. so the president before this one uh a uh, janos adder um he served his two terms, 10 years, no problems. He was like an anti-communist, dissident, activist person, Fidesz. <laughs> um, your standard Fidesz Your stuff. average, yeah. <laughs> now, before Janos, there was a classic European uh, um, in the form of a Pal Schmidt. Uh, Pal. <laughs> yeah, his name is Pal, just with a little accent mark over the A. Um he was the first president. He was brought in in 2010 with the first Fidesz majority government. Had to resign after two years because he plagiarized his doctoral thesis. Oh, swag. The yeah. European classic. <laughs> the European <laughs> classic. <laughs> Ooh, love this. Um, anyway, Paul Schmidt, two years, 10 years of Janos Adder. And then we get uh, Kathleen Novak, um, former family affairs minister in Fidesz government. First woman and youngest person to hold the role of president. Um, personally, huge natalist. Was always talking about, like, everyone needs to have a gajillion babies. How many babies does she have? I don't know. <laughs> Let me go. You can look that up, yeah. Um, huge Fidesz true believer, uh, um, namely in support like she was the the face of the wing that was about like suppression of lgbt plus rights yeah um she hosted an event how many? sorry just three 
<laughs> wow, work harder. Step on your game. At least two more. Like, yeah, come on. That's when you like in so lazy. Yeah, you need two more so you can have like zero income tax in Hungary, isn't it? It's like twenty five yeah. percent off your income tax for every really. Kid you have. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Um. So like yeah, because they're all the the government's all about this. Speaking yeah. of, she hosted a, a a huge like international conference called the Budapest Demographics Conference. <laughs> <laughs> the what anyway yep. the budapest demographics content conference um <laughs> content. not contest it's no. just an orgy uh, <laughs> uh no those happen in brussels um <laughs> but hungarians can participate though yes there uh, um but the budapest demographics conference was exclusively about birth rates uh, as uh, like, like uh, yeah, clearly it was. Yeah, like I mean, it was like, it was insane because like it has it had the it has the branding of like the World Economic Forum at Davos. It's just like blue with some white text and stuff. It's like inc- everyone's wearing suits. It's the most tame shit in the world. It's not even like a, um, what was the one they had in Hungary before that came from the states? Um, shit, what's that called? Ah, we did an episode last year, Nick. What's that called? The 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 conference in the United States that they oh CPAC yeah 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 CPAC, I was yeah. I was like thinking about that what well, this sounds familiar yeah it's, it's literally <laughs> that but about babies yeah. it's, but it's not like CPAC because CPAC gets like crazy with it and has big fonts and big colors and does like a big pageantry kind of ah, shit okay. this looks like Davos okay this is like, like a bunch somber, of people like yeah a bunch of people like serious, sitting around yeah. taking themselves very seriously yeah, giving yeah. talks but they are all talking about fucking effectively yep. um and mike pence has spoken there mm-hmm. uh, hell yeah <laughs> talking about fucking oh uh, yikes <laughs> talking about specifically raw dogging uh <laughs> Kieran, I never want to hear you say that again. I don't know what sex is. It's fine. Um, you have a child. Stork. <laughs> stork brought the child. Anyway. Um, yeah, so like, and also Maloney has also spoken there, I believe. Um, mm. And yeah, she also, Kathleen Novak, going back to her, she also played an important role in the whole like internationalist nationalist formation. She was, again, Huge friends with, she was the contact for Orban's government for Mike Pence, Maloney, and uh, um, loser of the year, Ron DeSantis. <laughs> they really they really backed that horse in uh, uh, in Hungary. Um, so she's the plug. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, good friends with hers. So here's what happened. Here's the scandal. So the motivation for this was to appease the Pope. <laughs> Classic Hungarian fashion. Um, she used a condom. Mm, no. Um, to appease the Pope when he came for like, you know, Vatican visit to major Catholic country, um, <clears throat> she pardoned a bunch of prisoners. Um, I, I think Hungary has like the worst standards uh, um, of prisons in all of Europe as well. Oh, right. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty bleak. They're not like maintained very well. But still, she pardoned a bunch of them and as you would for like a diplomatic bunch of pardoning it's a bunch of people who like when you poll people they're like yeah they probably shouldn't be in jail like that probably should have been like a fine or something yeah. uh, like they're, they're a lot of low scale crime situations uh, um the list of people that she got uh, um to pardon was made by then justice minister uh judith varga um she resigned August of last year before any of the scandal came out, but that's who made the list and handed it to the president. Um, <laughs> these... Sorry, it fucked her over so oh, badly absolutely. and just bounced before it was. <laughs> and also, uh, um, she resigned as okay. So she resigned as justice minister because she was actually the head of Fidesz's EU elections list. Mm, okay. uh, she was going to be like the face of like Fidesz in. European Mm -hmm. Union and also these two women are basically like the only women in the Fidesz party I should state this Um, they are certainly the most like senior prominent like media savvy put in front of cameras all kind of things these two women in Fidesz uh, I'm sure there's like junior members or younger parliamentarians or whatever, or like some people doing local politics somewhere. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. these are the two most prominent, uh, both quite young for politics, both women, which is a huge deal for Fidesz. Um, <clears throat> anyway, problem with the list is one of the people included on the list was the deputy director of a children's home 
who covered up a network of sexual abuse at the children's home. Um, and then he was pardoned. It was, uh, which meant that his criminal record's completely clear and he can work with children again. Oh my God. Um, this came out with an investigative report uh, in February of this year, which alleged in that same report that this man had ties to the Reformed Church of Hungary hmm. and the Fidesz party. And this is probably where this, like, the oddness of this pardon came from. Because they, I think the report also said, like, yeah, everyone else who was pardoned is, like... Petty thieves. Yeah, right? like, yeah. the kind of minor, like, like the kind of people you would expect to be pardoned when, like, a bunch of diplomatic pardons yeah. are coming around. Yeah, yeah. Um, a bunch of, Iraq, you know, uh, American uh, war criminals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we kind of had to acknowledge you went a little too hard in Afghanistan, but we secretly liked it. Um, yeah, you're classic one of those. Um, so, Orban then, this results in protests, huge media scandal. Orban then proposes a new law that says that pardoning criminals that involved crimes against children are now illegal. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> thanks, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do this law now. Um, this did nothing to stop the protests or any of the resignations that were happening because there's a bunch of resignations in the cabinet of Fidesz and mostly the team around the president, mm. like people who worked for the president's office. Um, Novak resigned. Uh, Varga, the justice minister, has like retired. Basically, she's no longer the head of the EU list, EU elections list for Fidesz, and. Um, Varga's husband, the justice, the former justice minister's husband, retired from what I found out is was CEO of several state-owned companies <gasps> in Hungary. <laughs> Holy shit! You can't even keep the like crony corruption guys on your side when you like accidentally pardon the Pizzagate guy, <laughs> the Hungarian this like is the pizza. most yeah this is the most Hungarian like this is the most Fidesz scandal ever yeah. did, they, did they put him back in prison no or? they can't no he's pardoned he's pardoned he can't crimes are gone. you should prison. be able to no because only the president can do that as well and I, I also don't think there's any mechanism for rescinding a pardon yeah <laughs> when a reverse because card, imagine if you got pardoned and then just like psych <laughs> yeah yeah I know um because also, like, if that was a thing, you know U.S. presidents would be doing that all the time. Because there's oh, always yeah. that, Chelsea like... Chelsea Manning would be... Fuck. Yeah, because you would just rescind the, like... That's what Trump would do. Like, he would rescind yeah, everyone. Yeah, run that shit back. <laughs> yeah. Everyone Obama pardons, <laughs> I know, I know, they're going I know. back yeah. in jail. Yeah, yeah. But this one time... <laughs> I'm going to reverse all the pardons. <laughs> um, they said I can do it. <clears throat> then there, there's... I still can't, actually. Go on. No, no, sorry, it's not. There's a there's there's another character in the story uh, who has a great Hungarian name. I love this name. Um, also, yeah, Varga's husband's last name is Magyar, which I love as a common last name in Hungary because it's just like my last name is Hungarian. Um, is pretty sick. Like I'm I'm Kieran Irishman. Um, <laughs> but the the head of the Reform Church, a guy called Zoltan Balog. Um, I'm sorry, but that's just like a, such a like Game of Thrones kind of yeah yeah it, it really reminds me of that Adam Sandler movie was it uh, oh um, yeah yeah Zoltan was it Zoltan yeah, it was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah remember he's like playing the IDF guy who's now trying to be a hairdresser yeah 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 oh, Zohan cool. Zohan don't mess yeah. with the Zohan yeah almost, yeah, yeah. Almost. Um, anyway the head of the reform church Zoltan Balog also had to resign because in the report he was the person who personally lobbied for this guy to be pardoned Mm. Um, and again, the report is just like because they were like friends, basically, and it's also like yes. led a lot of people to like, what was this child sex abuse network? Who was benefiting? Yeah, from yeah, that? exactly. Like, like who was like, the, who were the people? Because like the you, you hear church again, you're like, I've heard this story, I've seen this one before, <laughs> like kind of thing. So <laughs> everyone's a little bit deeply suspicious. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, that's resulted in, I think, the largest uh, um, anti-government protest in Hungary's history since, like, well, like, modern Hungary since, like, the, the 90s, basically. And um, the fun thing about it is, as we always have to say whenever we talk about Hungarian politics, is um, Orban's fine. This will not come back to Orban. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Absolutely. Like, because um, I think the two reasons that I find most compelling is 
like all people who are like analyzing the situation or is like it's really hard to convince people that he's in any way connected because he isn't directly connected yeah. this was like the actions of these other people um damn he really is out of here like fighting a rico case <laughs> like <laughs> Orban's fine. Orban really could run a criminal organization very well. He does. If, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he already, he already does, God actually. Damn. Like, Orban never, like, never going to jail. No, yeah, absolutely not. I no. hope I I hope I eat my words, but... No, he's going to die free. Yeah. There's going to be like, it's going to be like, a, it's going to be like, I don't want to say Jimmy Savile. The only thing comparable oh. to Jimmy Savile is that it will all kind of like, all the shit that he did, it won't be like what Jimmy Savile did, but like all of that will just like, Everyone after he dies is going to talk openly about like all the heinous corruption yeah, yeah. that was occurring. Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah it's yeah. going to be once, once it's safe. To Hungarian talk about rappers it. in like forty years are going to just make like a song called like Orban, Orban, <laughs> Orban. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and also like, there's no one else you can vote for. Is 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 another huge part of it of like, no one. No one who votes for Fidesz, there's like not an alternative to Fidesz, basically. Everyone else is like ideologically quite different. Yeah. In in either direction, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, enough of that. Yeah. Um, I want to pitch the idea of, you know, to the kids 40 years from now who are then going to try to make Viktor Orban out as a cool, like, gangster figure. Yes. Like, say, like, Scarface or something like that. <laughs> uh, may I already like suggest... Yeah. Or, yeah, or Berlusconi. I oh, know, I'm sorry. I'm just imagining um, the Victor Orban Scarface poster. Yeah, exactly. Oh. May I suggest... May I suggest for you future... For, 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 for you know, future listener of the, the, the very future... Uh, 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 bringing back like blinged out shirts, please. Oversized, triple XL, like Soldier Boy. No, no, like... just has a picture of like cartoon Orban or whatever. Just like like the SpongeBob one, where smoking he just like joint. smoking yeah. a joint. Yeah, I don't even think cartoon. I think we can just no, do like do Photoshop. Real... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just In like four years, black. Yeah, yeah like yeah. the AI yeah. Kind of like... yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where they'll have like yeah, they'll have like those like those like it'll be, it'll be, be like a pullover of like I don't know like like. Uh, in insert like um, I don't know any 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 it's it, it's like those like where it's like superimposed of like them like smoking weed or whatever yeah exactly I, I like the idea of we expand this into a range corner spady merch store of just like all of those like smoked out uh, um, cartoon characters you know it SpongeBob yeah. Timmy Turner. Who was another? Who was another good one for that? Uh, um, uh, Tony Jimmy the Tiger Neutron. was always one. Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger was one that yeah. I saw at school a lot. That yeah. So okay. Always, that, so instead of those, uh, Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> instead of those, same vibe, but just like the deepest fucking polls from Br- Brussels politics. Yep. Just like smoked out Thierry Breton, or like <laughs> Jean Van, uh, like, uh, uh, um. Jean Claude Juncker, too obvious. The man is drunk all the time. Oh my god! Yeah. S- smoked out, smoked out at um, House of Burrell. That oh. could be fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Smoked out Guy for Hofstash. Don't really know what that would look like. Kind of terrifying. Um, yeah, I think we can make this happen. Yeah, I feel that. Then I can, I can definitely see one of like of of Jean Claude Juncker just like like a like you know blinged out wrist or whatever with like fake you know like bedazzled shit or whatever you know a <laughs> uh, joint and then just like i don't know like hennessy or something what yeah. are they always it's always like way over the top yeah, yeah, yeah he has like, that like vibe a really good francois Hollande. Yes, yes Hollande. Hollande would be perfect for that actually or like yeah because he fucking sucked too so it makes no sense like at least like you know uh jean-claude Juncker had a position that was doing nothing i feel like it has to be the most like useless pencil pushing ass politicians yeah. For I, these t-shirts. yeah we should do this as a series instead of instead of like holland on his little moped he's on like a big like fucking uh, uh low riding harley davison or something like that while smoking oh out. you're yeah that that could be a cool one i don't know it depends do you want do you want to go like in the direction of the like the like um like motorcycle like like skeleton vibes or do you want to go i'm thinking more like blinged out t-shirt vibes. yeah no Sorry. i see i see how it's a different or visual like the language. big dog shirts oh my god 
Just <laughs> Halan looking sad in front of nine eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whatever, uh, whatever. No, uh, the French nine eleven is actually really upsetting. So never mind. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So um, yeah, check out that um, our new merch store where we sell the fucking. Uh, um, Underneath, like the a fucking. The worst shit you've ever seen. Yeah, the worst shit you've seen. Right. No, no, at the right. side of the road, underneath, like a tinted mural who's next like, to the train yeah. station in Brussels. Who's like, I, I want, like, who's like a really, like, in Spanish politics, like someone who's just kind of like, eh. Rivera. Albert Rivera. Who's, all right, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's so irrelevant now. He, exactly. he was the head of Ciudadanos, and then Ciudadanos tanked so Oh, badly. Rivera, yes. I Rivera. want him, I want him, all right. He just died. You need to pronounce it like an American. Uh, Rivera? Rivera. 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 Um, I want, I want then, all right, Karen, you need to make this. I want yep. him just, like, blinged out, doing, like, the, like, you know, I don't know, like, like, prayer hands pose, like he's I mean, balling. he's fucking, sorry. But, yeah. but and then I want in the background, like, in the, like, kind of, like, juvenile uh, <laughs> album cover style, mm-hmm. um, uh, like a mirrored image of itself of the uh, what's the 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 exp- like the the first ast- the fir- the Spanish astronaut like the first Spain uh, oh, Spain Spanish- right yeah <laughs> exactly I want that um, in, in that style yeah where he's just like standing like this both sides absolute fucking no one that anyone knows you just make him look like he's like uh, uh like the most politically like, incoherent yeah. teacher of all time. yeah I mean you could use like his and then the top says up the raw or whatever. <laughs> Chuck your <laughs> Please make this. <laughs> but replace it actually with like, I think Jean-Claude Juncker would be better for this. Yeah, yeah but oh, no, it's like either up the raw or like another dead cuckoo cracker. <laughs> Just like, referring to Blanco. Blanco with three Ks instead of a C. <laughs> oh my God. Can you please make this? Yes. I love you. And but like we cancel our line. We have to like put up a rug on the side of the street in, in Brussels and just put the map. Yeah, yeah no, we should sell this. As, no, 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 oh no, no. We should sell it as T-shirts. Nope, <laughs> merch. Um, you know what? The the Carrero Blanco thing is so funny because everybody thinks that that the the picture yeah is real is like from. Oh, it's from a movie, isn't it? It's from a movie. It's yeah. from like a. I don't know if it's a movie or a documentary, but like, it's obviously like, Eta was not gonna stay there, like, to. No, we need, we need to document this. You know? And there's also a video, and people think it's like from the actual thing, which I wish it was. Yeah. For just PSA. Building this crime people. spree was the best idea <laughs> we ever had. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a shame, but I, I do kind of like. It's It's a great. It's like, it's like when you find out that like all the audio in like a nature documentary is fake. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't. They're not, they're not putting a boom mic over that fucking lion. Like, you can't. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking lion. How do you think they mic'd it up? <laughs> it's like never synced up very I'm well half the time. This person. I'm, listen, I was like, I don't know. In class, they would put the BBC David Attenborough, yeah, whatever yeah, his yeah. fucking name is. Incredibly well made. But, like, it's all Foley. Oh, yeah. my God. I mean, not like I was paying much attention anyway, but... No, no, you can't, no, it's it's very well done, you can't tell. You just have to, like, think about it for a second, it was like, yeah, no, the guy with the boom mic would die. <laughs> <laughs> and the lion would just fucking kill him. Yeah, the BBC just, like, yeah. running through, uh... Just... <laughs> or the cats are, like, playing with it like it's a cat toy, yeah. just, like, trying oh, to yeah, yeah, the mic yeah. down. <laughs> oh my god, true. It's just these things that are obvious, but you just don't think yeah, about yeah, them. Yeah, movie magic. Movie yeah. magic. Anyway. Um, They're lying to you. Yeah. So... Speaking of lies, All right. actually, great transition for our last, or basically our last story of the uh, the episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, ep- uh, uh, party that I really want to do a whole episode on, Vlam's Belong, the, uh, um, the like... Racist. Very racist, has kind of like a history of being connected to like Nazi collaborators and stuff <laughs> like that. Oh, okay. Europe, baby! So it's like the, what, ne- Netherlands? Da, 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 da. Is it from the Netherlands? No, no, it's a uh, Belgium. Belgium, it's the, yeah. It's a Belgian Vox. <laughs> it's the Belgian, but also like with the added thing of like, Flanders should be independent, is the whole thing. Like, because, you know, it's. Because a, they hate them so much? They hate the French, the Walloons in the South too much. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, See, I wish I wish that was what Vox was going for. <laughs> like, we hate the Catalans so much, we want them. Rather out of than Spain. like, we are going to do the great replacement, but to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah so like, 
they're insane. The whole like Flemish independence movement was like very, very tied. Independence movement was very much like collaborationists uh, uh, during World War Two, like when the Nazis rolled in. Um, so like, yeah, ignoring that, this this new stunt by their their leader Philip de Winter and the party in general, where they went around uh, uh, Flanders and replaced all the street signs uh, um, with um, Arabic versions of the place names because they they legitimately believe the great replacement is going to happen and this is their like stunt they're like if you don't watch out we'll have to put this in arabic because yeah yeah because like creeping creeping sharia etc etc yeah which is like which is great because this is like this feels very in line with a new phenomenon that I'm seeing with like the right wing online now that we have AI, yeah. which is like using AI to generate a picture to get mad at. Oh my god, yeah, because it doesn't <laughs> exist in real life. Because it doesn't yeah. exist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 like I have this to. Compl- is, yeah, I mean, it really the, the thing that that I'm just still kind of like like taken back by is like how is this. How is this politics still a thing? This is vintage. This is like oh, it's coming back. Oh, but like, yeah. Uh, yeah. For, but there's, there's like, there's not like a, a, it's you know, we're not living in 2015. Sorry, like this isn't like ISIS like doesn't exist anymore. Like, I mean, not that then it's like justified, but at least there was like, ooh, the Middle East, a lot more going on. But it's like. I don't, I don't, like, there's not, like, I mean, unless you're an absolute dum-dum, which I guess most of these people are, I mean, like, what are they afraid of, like, Hamas coming over? Yeah, legitimately. What? <laughs> but, like, Hamas, Hamas is, like, not a jihadist organization. No, le- no like, Hamas is going to build a tunnel all the way from Rafa, <laughs> all the way to fucking Antwerp, and you will eat your words. <laughs> I mean, it really, like, like. And they'll come sad. out with their guns and make us change the road signs. I mean, so I, I guess, I guess I just, I guess the, the, I don't keep up with the other side of the argument well, like, i don't no, keep up it, with the like insane you know zionist propaganda shit you're right in the sense that it's vintage but the thing is like it was all it's like it's still there but that's it's yeah, but just, the thing now is just getting, though like, is that then a lot of these people who are like experts in this bullshit are also fucking nerds and they even know if they were to ask like well actually the whole that the, the political ideology of hamas is actually like you know like they know yeah. for a fact that it is like that they're like not like an expansionist like whatever like jihadist yeah. sort of grouping thing or even the, like so like but it's not even just that. It's just the, about the fact that Europe just has a lot no, of... No, 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 no. I know that. Like, that's just like, no matter what, the Islamophobia will just yeah, always yeah, exist. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's always a standard. It's just an... I guess I just get confused because normally the Islamophobia is tied with like something more like like an ever-present like Islamic jihadist thing. But yeah, because you, you it's grew not, up in, It's not a thing right now. You grew up in the era of like the Taliban and yeah. Al-Qaeda and ISIS yeah. as these like strong organizations that were like declaring war on the West or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, but like, you have to just remember how many people really believed and repeated the whole Hamas equals ISIS thing. Yeah, like, yeah, not yeah, that yeah. long, like a couple of weeks ago. Like, there's like Hamas equals ISIS graffiti in fucking Mauer Park. Oh um, yeah, all over Berlin. I've yeah. seen them. Yeah, yeah, and it's like. No, they they hate each other. Yeah, they've uh, been fighting each other. What the fuck? Like, but yeah, even, no, th- even just in general, like Islamophobia is a hell. Of, like, it's it's very very present, and it's just even if these organizations don't exist, yeah, the just the presence of like yeah, Muslim yeah. or Arab yeah, yeah, yeah. people is gonna trigger these kind of people because yeah, even in Spain, f- like in Spain, um, every time there's like breaking news of like a rape or a stabbing or like absolutely anything that has to do with violence or like First something that's spe- no like yeah. you you especially on twitter you like look at the replies and the first thing is like what's the nationality like yeah. everyone's just asking what's the nationality oh, yeah, 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 yeah. because they just assume that it's like a moroccan person because especially we yeah. get people but from like, north africa they have but it has really like resurfaced uh, um, or like there's more extreme version of it in which like because there is there is this kind of like there's the right wing like thing of like we'll kick them all out mm. but when they say that they're saying it from like this position of strength like they still kind of believe amongst themselves we can do it yeah. right like we have the capability uh, um, whereas like now what Nick's talking about and I think is very is resurfacing again is mm. like uh, um, we are powerless to stop it Hmm. Like the Islamization is coming. Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Thing. yeah. Like, there's yeah. like there's this difference in like attitude towards it, and it is it is is because of like the Israel Gaza stuff, where like 
basically all the media has given the consent to like hate Muslims again. Yeah. yeah. Um, rather than like for respectability purposes, you have to like kind of shut up about it. Anyway, the only other thing about this is like they completely fucked up the spelling. Uh, <laughs> none of the, so none of the things make sense. Mainly because they did um, left to right oh. rather than right to left. Uh, and okay. thus everything is like backwards. And Would everyone... you not get someone who speaks Arabic No, <laughs> to work with that. Yeah, to work. <laughs> I, I know. Mean, well, like, I mean, there's always, you get the, there's always uh, like Wikipedia. Yeah, no, but or everyone Google was just like, Translate, like, instead of Antwerp, it said something like dumpling. Uh, oh, hell yeah. And stuff like that, or like like a specific. I like, vote to to rename Anver- to dumpling to dumpling <laughs> to the hell, end, like hell Arabic yeah. word for Moroccan that, dumpling. In in a lighter note, that reminds me of something that happened on Catalan Twitter the other day, which right. is that there there was this Spanish guy who is super anti-Catalan and went to this train this Uban station in yeah. Barcelona was like, um, and was standing on top of these signs that are in Catalan and English, so mm. no Spanish, yeah. right? And he's, like, going on and on about how in Barcelona the there's only the signs are only in Catalan and sp- in English, and what the fuck is that, and it should be in Spanish, like, all these things. I started, like, a campaign thingy. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, if you move, like, two meters away, uh, there are the signs in Spanish. Spanish, yeah, yeah. Just, like, two meters down the fucking platform. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, how fucking stupid can you be? You're just, you're just, you're always just so fucking prone to anger, yeah. Because like, yeah, because these the people in Vlaams along who get angry at this will like see a shop that caters to like Moroccans exclusively, like having an Arabic sign, as well as probably like a Dutch sign somewhere. Yeah. But like, they'll freak out because they just saw that, and they'll ignore the fact that like every other business on the street like caters to Flemish people and it's it's fine. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Anyway, um we uh have to do like a quick quick shout out uh, uh kind of shout out thing, a, a dire thing, uh before we do our promo, uh which is that we got notified uh, um by Hovsep who who came on the show previously to talk about Nagorno Karabakh and uh, um Artsakh, Armenia and Azerbaijan that um Armenia is talking at the moment very loudly about the fact that they suspect an invasion is coming, uh, uh, a full-scale invasion from Azerbaijan. Yeah, there's been. I've been seeing that. Then um, the names. I um, you're going to have to remind me of the past that he was talking about. That he was saying uh, Azerbaijan was going to be interested in. Yeah. Um. Sorry. It. It. Yeah. I've forgotten uh, the name of the past as well, but it, it's the thing that connects the like exclave part of yes, Azerbaijan. Yes. Uh, that to... is exactly where this has been happening. Yeah. yeah. So uh, there's been uh, Azerbaijan has been getting very aggressive in the region. And it is, uh, as always, uh, gotten very little media attention aside from maybe like a little like, you know, news blurb. Somewhere. Well, it's like, it's a classic thing of like someone made an article somewhere. It's not put on yeah. the front page of anything or the front of the website or whatever. Uh, and Google killed RSS feeds a couple of years ago, so now no one knows anything's happening. I'll never get over that. But anyway, um, yeah, so just felt like we should say that. And um, on that dire note, uh, we have to shout out um, Girovision 2024, ooh, ooh, ooh. 11th of May. What a whiplash. What a, like, yeah. what a Shame. whiplash. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Well, I mean, it's also like uh, the money. the money from that is... The, hey, yeah, exactly. These are the two only th- the. There are only two things in the world that will remind Western Europeans that Armenia and Azerbaijan exist: this podcast and Eurovision. <laughs> like, Fair enough, and that is it. Um, so, at time of recording, uh, the tickets are on sale. Twenty percent of them are already gone. So, <gasps> yep. Nice. Um, so four fifths remain. Go get it. Maths. Um, all the money goes to Medical Aid Palestine. Um, it's looking like it might be possible that the boycott won't happen because it kind of looks like Israel's going to get kicked out or leave or something. We have to... And then Germany will, will do as well. <laughs> we will get the exact Eurovision that we All of Eurovision Twitter is talking about that, being like, would we really lose anything? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, Eurovision, May 11th. Link in the description if you want to buy tickets. It will be a fun time, regardless of if there's a boycott or not. We are going to, we are we are pulling out all the stops. Um, so yeah, uh, with that, we will catch you on the bonus feed. Bye bye. Ciao ciao. Bye bye.